U.S. Congress has the power of the purse. This is where spending bills are created and approved. That includes determining how much money America can borrow, which is referred to as the debt ceiling. And the deadline to increase it is approaching fast. The uh, debt limit, um, the suspension uh, expired on August 1st, and we began using extraordinary measures to remain under the debt ceiling. But those extraordinary measures are just uh, a Band-Aid for a period of time, right? Well, as I indicated, we expect them to be exhausted on October 18th. Okay. And it would be a disaster if we did not It would be a catastrophe limit. if Congress failed to raise the debt ceiling. Okay. If the U.S. finds itself defaulting on its loans, President Joe Biden has warned Americans that this would affect nearly every aspect of their lives. This is going to undermine the safety of U.S. Treasury securities and will threaten the reserve status of the dollar as the world's currency that the world relies on. American credit rating will be downgraded. Interest rates will rise for mortgages, auto loans, credit cards, borrowing. Experts say even the political brinkmanship this close to the deadline is harmful. If the U.S. defaults, it could mean a loss of up to 6 million jobs. $15 trillion of household wealth could be wiped out, and the unemployment rate could double. The U.S. is the world's largest economy, so if it can't pay its own bills, it will rattle the international markets, a global system already struggling to get back on its feet after a year and a half of the COVID-19 pandemic. Whenever the U.S. dollar takes a hit, so do most major currencies. So why are lawmakers deadlocked if both sides agree that the debt ceiling must be raised? Democrats may have the majority in government, but in the Senate in particular, that majority is a slim one, and Republicans have made no secret they won't make it easy. We will not provide Republican votes for raising the debt limit. As we speak, Democrats are behind closed doors assembling a multi-trillion dollar reckless taxing and spending spree. There's no chance Republicans will help lift Democrats' credit limit so they can immediately steamroll through a socialist binge that will hurt families and help China. But the president has repeatedly insisted the U.S. would actually be paying off debt mostly incurred by the previous Republican administration of Donald Trump. This may all come down to Biden's negotiating abilities. He's been referred to as a creature of the Senate, the first U.S. president in decades to have built his entire career in Congress. Can he appeal to Republicans to stand down? And if not, can he get members of his own party to compromise and put a dollar figure on the debt ceiling instead of a time frame? So far, his efforts have not borne fruit. Yasmin Al-Sabawi, TRT World, Washington.